Welcome to Super Spotting Channel, the Premier League is the highest level of the English Football League system. Contested by 20 clubs, it operates on a system of promotion and relegation with the English Football League, EFL. Seasons typically run from August to May, with each team playing 38 matches against all other teams. Both home and away, most games are played on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. The competition was founded as the FA Premier League on February 20, 1992 following the decision of First Division, top-tier league from 1888 until 1992, clubs to break away from the English Football League. However, teams may still be relegated to and promoted from the EFL Championship. The Premier League takes advantage of a £5 billion television rights deal, with Sky and BT Group securing the domestic rights to broadcast 128 and 32 games, respectively. This deal will rise to £6.7 billion for the four seasons from 2025 to 2026. That the league is projected to earn $7.2 billion in overseas TV rights from 2022 to 2025. The Premier League is a corporation managed by a chief executive, with member clubs acting as shareholders. Clubs were apportioned central payment revenues of £2.4 billion in 2016-17, to 17, with a further £343 million in solidarity payments to EFL clubs. The Premier League is the most watched sports league in the world, broadcast in 212 territories to 643 million homes, with a potential TV audience of 4.7 billion people. For the 2018-19 season, the average Premier League match attendance was at 38,181, second to the German Bundesliga's 43,500 while aggregated attendance across all matches was the highest of any association football league at 14,508,981, and most stadium occupancies are near capacity. As of 2023, the Premier League is ranked first in the UEFA coefficient rankings based on performances in European competitions over the past five seasons, ahead of Spain's La Liga, the English top flight has produced the second highest number of European Cup slash UEFA Champions League titles, with a record six English clubs having won 15 European Championships in total. 51 clubs have competed in the Premier League since its inception in 1992, 49 from England and 2 from Wales. Seven of them have won the title, Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Blackburn Rovers Leicester City and Liverpool, the two Manchester clubs hold the distinction of having won three titles in a row, while six clubs have avoided relegation, Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton, Liverpool, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. 1986 negotiation, then to £600,000 in 1988. The 1988 negotiations were conducted under the threat of 10 clubs leaving to form a Super League, but they were eventually persuaded to stay, with the top clubs taking the lion's share of the deal. The negotiations also convinced the bigger clubs that in order to receive enough votes, they needed to take the whole of First Division with them instead of a smaller Super League. By the beginning of the 1990s, the big clubs again considered breaking away, especially now that they had to fund the cost of stadium upgrade as proposed by the Taylor Report. In 1990, the managing director of London Weekend Television, LWT, Greg Dyke, met with the representatives of the Big Five football clubs in England, Manchester United, Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur, Everton and Arsenal over a dinner. The meeting was to pave the way for a breakaway from the Football League. Dyke believed that it would be more lucrative for LWT if only the larger clubs in the country were featured on national television and wanted to establish whether the clubs would be interested in a larger share of television rights money. The five clubs agreed with the suggestion and decided to press ahead with it, however, the league would have no credibility without the backing of the Football Association, and so David Dine of Arsenal held talks to see whether the FA were receptive to the idea. The FA did not have an amicable relationship with the Football League at the time and considered it as a way to weaken the Football League's position. The FA released a report in June 1991, Blueprint for the Future of Football, that supported the plan for the Premier League with the FA as the ultimate authority that would oversee the breakaway league. At the close of the 1990-1991 season, a proposal was tabled for the establishment of a new league that would bring more money into the game overall. The Founder Members Agreement, signed on July 17, 1991 by the game's top flight clubs, established the basic principles for setting up the FA Premier League. 
The newly formed top division was to have commercial independence from the Football Association and the Football League, giving the FA Premier League license to negotiate its own broadcast and sponsorship agreements. The argument given at the time was that the extra income would allow English clubs to compete with teams across Europe. Although Dyke played a significant role in the creation of the Premier League, he and ITV, of which LWT was part, lost out in the bidding for broadcast rights, B Sky B won with a bid of £304 million over five years, with the BBC awarded the highlights package broadcast on Match of the Day. The first division clubs resigned en masse from the Football League in 1992, and on May 27 that year the FA Premier League was formed as a limited company, working out of an office at the Football Association's then headquarters in Lancaster Gate. The 22 inaugural members of the new Premier League were this meant a breakup of the 104-year-old football league that had operated until then with four divisions, the Premier League would operate with a single division and the Football League with three. There was no change in competition format, the same number of teams competed in the top flight, and promotion and relegation between the Premier League and the new first division remained the same as the old first and second divisions with three teams relegated from the league and three promoted. The league held its first season in 1992-93. It was composed of 22 clubs for that season, reduced to 20 in the 1995-96 season. The first Premier League goal was scored by Brian Dean of Sheffield United in a 2-1 win against Manchester United, Luton Town, Notts County, and West Ham United were the three teams relegated from the old first division at the end of the 1991-92 season and did not take part in the inaugural Premier League season. Manchester United won the inaugural edition of the new league, ending a 26-year wait to be crowned champions of England. Bolstered by this breakthrough, United immediately became the competition's dominant team, winning seven of the first nine trophies, two league and FA Cup doubles and a European treble, initially under a team of hardened veterans such as Brian Robson, Steve Bruce, Paul Ince, Mark Hughes and Eric Cantona before Cantona, Bruce and Roy Keane led a young dynamic new team filled with the class of 92. A group of young players including David Beckham who came through the Manchester United Academy. Between 1993 and 1997, Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United came close to challenging Manchester United's early dominance, Blackburn won the 1994-95 FA Premier League and Newcastle led the title charge over United for much of the 1995-96 season. As the decade closed, Arsenal replicated Manchester United's dominance by winning the league and FA Cup double in 1997-98 and together the Big Two would form a duopoly over the league between 1997 and 2004 Middlesbrough, 2006, and Fulham, 2010, all lost their finals. Although the group's dominance was reduced to a degree after this period with the emergence of Manchester City and Tottenham, in terms of all-time Premier League points won they remained clear by some margin. As of the end of the 2021-22 season, the 27th season of the Premier League, Liverpool, in fourth place in the all-time points table, were over 300 points ahead of the next team, Tottenham Hotspur. They are also the only teams to maintain a winning average of over 50% throughout their entire Premier League tenures. Play in European competition, had revenues of 213.3 million euros, less than half of those of the club with the fifth largest revenue, Liverpool, 424.2 million euros. A substantial part of the club's revenue by then came from television broadcast deals, with the biggest clubs each taking from around £150 million to nearly £200 million in the 2016-17 season from such deals. In Deloitte's 2019 report, all the big six were in the top 10 of the world's richest clubs from the 2019-20 season, video assistant referees were used in the league. Project Big Picture was announced in October 2020 that described a plan to reunite the top Premier League clubs with the English Football League, proposed by leading Premier League clubs Manchester United and Liverpool. It has been criticised by the Premier League leadership and the UK government's Department for Culture, Media and Sport. On April 26, 2021, Play was stopped during a match between Leicester City and Crystal Palace to allow players Wesley Fofana and Chika Kuyate to break Ramadan fast.
It is believed to be the first time in Premier League history that a game was paused to allow Muslim players to eat and drink after the sun had set in accordance with the rules of the faith. The 2022-23 season was the first to take a six-week break between November and December 2022 to allow for the first Winter World Cup, with a return for the Boxing Day fixtures. The Premier League players decided to take the knee at selected, significant moments. They assured to remain resolutely committed to eradicate racial prejudice that season was notable for Newcastle United and Brighton and Hove Albion breaching the traditional Big Six, as they finished 4th and 6th, respectively, while Tottenham and Chelsea were 8th and 12th, respectively thank you watching.